so one of the most frustrating pieces about uh, NFTs is uh, two things. One is the gas prices, which are in the Ethereum blockchain out of the out of control. Yesterday or the day before, I was quoted fifteen hundred dollars to mint an NFT, which uh, no thank you, no way. And the second one is the learning curve associated with a non-technologist or even a technologist like myself. Uh, to come up to speed to uh, crypto wallets and all those kinds of things. So I am super excited uh, right now to have found a marketplace that uh, eliminates all of these roadblocks uh, from it, and it is super easy to do. It is called uh, Apricot, or the URL is Hello Apricot. And um, I'm going to give you a quick demo how to create an account, how to mint an NFT, and uh, all of these elements. Uh, so here you go. I am doing this because I think this is a super exciting new marketplace in which eliminates all the roadblocks associated with buying and selling. If you're a creator uh, of NFTs, uh, then it, you can post NFTs for no dollars, zero dollars today. And if you are buying NFTs, you can buy NFTs Without, with a credit card, uh, without knowing uh, anything about crypto uh, technology or anything like that. So super excited about this. So Apricot uses the Matic Polygon network and blockchain in order to be able to record and mint uh, the NFTs. And it is all behind the scenes for the artist creator and for the buyers. You do not have to know anything about the blockchain to use, to buy, or create NFTs. So the first thing we're going to do is create an account. Creating an account, you simply enter your uh, email address and you wait for the email to arrive to your mailbox. Then you click on login to the account from the email and it'll be serving as a confirmation item. You create your profile, which is your name, your bio, and some sort of a URL for your website. And we're going to change this a little later after we create our NFTs. We add the avatar, avatar if you want to, and voila, the profile is created. A cool thing about Apricot is that, you, that as a creator, you can uh, donate a portion of the proceeds to the charity of your choice. So you enter the charity name and you assigned a percent of your sales that you want to do that. And then it'll be highlighted with a heart on your uh, NFT as it gets created. Pretty cool. So we are now ready to create an NFT. First two things that is going to ask me, what is the NFT uh, title? Some sort of a description comes next, and then you upload the file for the NFT. I am going to just upload a photograph, and I click next. When is the NFT going to go out for sale? And uh, the percent that I want to receive. So the next item is what type of sale would you like to have? There are two limited editions, which can be a set number of them or an auction and we're going to do one of each NFT so you can see what the uh, difference in pieces are. So on this one we're going to create a limited edition of five units and we are going to assign a cost of each as five dollars and it's going to go for sale today and we're choosing also to receive a five percent royalty after if somebody sells that after in the aftermarket. Next, we are going to add perks. Perks are things that you can attach to the NFT so the owners of the NFT can receive. Perks can be anything that you would like to do. Some of the ones that they have established as the common ones are meet and greets, exclusive media or video, exclusive media that you can attach as a URL. Uh, you can include things like uh, sending the buyer something uh, physical, a 
as well as a personalized video, merchandise that you want to attach, or anything else uh, that you may want to uh, do. The limit is your imagination. Pretty cool. In this case, we're going to do a personalized video that I want to send to uh, whoever the buyer is, and a shout out tweet on uh, the NFT community from my Twitter account. Okay, so this is the preview of the drop we are going to mint next. You're going to be sent an email to confirm that this is okay to mint. You click on the login to the account and it knows that it log in and it's setting up the blockchain account and uh, mint. This always takes a couple of minutes. And it sometimes it may fail. If it fails, you click on the retry button and at some point it'll try it. Cool, it's created. Let's take a look at it. There's even a URL that you can send and promote your uh, NFT. And there you go. That's the NFT available for sale with the two perks that in are included. So one of five has been created. On the, in the profile under my NFTs, those are the NFTs that I have bought and I haven't bought anything on this account yet. So let's create a second NFT. This time, let's make it uh, for an, op, uh, uh, an NFT for an auction, and let's make it a five-day auction. Let's create an Arizona Sunset NFT. Let's upload the picture. And this is going to be a unique one, one of one for auction, which will be online on the 13th of May. We're going to put a 5% royalty on resale. As I said, we're going to put five days. And the starting bid will be $1. Now, this time, outside the personalized video, we are going to include a perk that says we are going to send you four other, a zip file with all four other pictures of the same sunset. Now, to activate this, the buyer will click on a link that will send the seller, the NFT creator, an email. Again, the process to check your email provides you a link that you have to log into Apricot. And it creating the record on the blockchain as well as your minting your collectible. Once again, the URL is given that you can promote and promote it widely. That is part of the process of the, uh, making NFTs available for sale. It's one of one, as you can see, and it will uh, drop in one day, 11 hours, 56 minutes. So you can create hype. Notice that during this process, we have not at all talked about cryptocurrencies, wallets, or anything like that. Okay, now that we have two NFTs created, let's go ahead and change now our initial creator page. You can always edit this at any time during the process in the lifetime of the account. Okay, that looks much better. It's uh, now a handle and photography is cool. Cool photos. Uh, I usually take two or three photos of one thing. My wife always gets to me after that. And the second one is always the better one. So that's why it's photo take two. That's it. Let's see if they are in now in the marketplace. Now, this is the Hello Apricot 
marketplace and we're looking for my NFTs. Oh, there's one right there. The Arizona sunset was there. And there's the other one, the blooming cactus. Pretty cool, they're both there. Let's see if we refresh the page of the marketplace if they change in place, placement. Scroll down. Ah, uh, yeah, they did. Blooming cactus is first. And my Arizona sunset is second. Excellent. Pretty cool. We click on that Arizona sunset and you see the NFT is there, ready to be, to be published. Oh, look at that. I refresh the page again and the Arizona, uh, the blooming uh, cactus is at the very top. Very cool. So as you can see, the account creation, the NFT creation, the minting, and the placement of the NFT on the marketplace was all done with no knowledge of cryptocurrency, wallets, and no asking for any credit cards. So you may be asking, how do I buy an NFT? We'll leave that for another video. Check out my NFTs by clicking on the links below uh, on the description. And if you want to become a creator or a collector in the Apricot Network, use my affiliate link below. That would be much appreciated. Again, subscribe, like, and if you have any questions about uh, any of these, please let me know. Cheers. Thank you. That was on recording. So the first thing I'm going to say, oh, wait, you're here. So the first thing I'm going to say is that, so the first thing I'm going to say is that Apricot uses uh, the Matic or Polygon uh, network and blockchain to be able to record and mint uh, all of their NFTs. Clap. You have to clap to see the audio. I don't need to do that.